Howdy, howdy, this is Blue Otter. Today we're playing Two Point Campus. I'm Albert Crank, your own personal advisor, and I'm here to help. You may not have any experience as a campus administrator, but the people of Freshly County College are eager to give you a chance. I'm not sure what that says about them, but hey, let's head to Freshly Meadows and get started on your academic empire. So here we have Freshly Meadows. We are going to start, but first we're going to rename our university. Otter. I can spell. All right, Otterversity. All right, and then we're going to re-click back on that and start at Freshly Meadows. All right, welcome to Freshly Meadows, where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. The Two Point County countryside is the perfect place to start your career, learn the ropes, make mistakes, and hit the ground smiling. We're gonna make a science class where we're gonna have 10 students, and this is our first day of school. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's my... Welcome to campus. Before you start churning out geniuses, we'll need to learn the basics of campus management. Try moving the camera around and having a look around. Our campus is gonna be running a scientography course. Let's start by building a science lab. Yeah, this is the reason why I keep wanting to use the middle mouse button in Universe Sim. All right, so we're going to build a science lab. And... Uh, where do I want to put it? We're going to... Yeah, we'll put it right back here. We want a minimum of a five by five, but we're gonna make it six by five. Uh, that's sometimes just a way of being able to get just a little bit more room out of it. We're gonna move this as close to the door as possible. And the name of this game is we are starting with basically just doing the bare minimum uh, but we are going to I know it they say it's done but I'm not done we're going to put in a couple more just there we go and now we're done All right, let's hire a teacher to run our first science class. Go tough, squeaky clean, buries the lead. There we go. Great work, now we have everything we need to run a science course. Uh, you'll be ready to like, start new year to welcome your first year of students. And I just call it science because I for the life of me, it sounds like Nemo trying to say anemone when I try to say it. All right. The students are arriving on campus. Are you nervous? Why am I nervous? I don't know. Oh, it's, you got like a little light bulb head and a light bulb. So this is using, this is by the same creators of Two Point Hospital, uh, which I can also do a playthrough of um, if you are interested. Uh, let me know in the comments. And they are just standing around, they're waiting for class to start. And this year I'll probably do a mix of speeds. Uh, but typically I play on the fast speed. Starting in the science lab. Uh, look at this. The students are in their very first class. Who knows what will happen? So when we're doing something specifically like this and we're just watching them, I will probably have it on fast forward. And when we are actually building something, I'll probably have it on a slower speed. 
as students learn they gain experience points or XP which will increase their academic level. Yeah, so there's a lot of different things that they can do. And it looks like they are creating some kind of a uh, goop that comes out here. And that was like a lava cube. So let's go back down to normal speed. So this first year is just learning is the, the basic tutorial. Uh, they did it. The students passed their first class. Sadly, they didn't do all that well. It seems a number of them were distracted by one need or another. A student that has everything they need will be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in an enthusiastic and cheerful haze. A student's needs, such as their thirst or toilet comfort, will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in class and earn more XP. Take a look at our students and see what we can do to improve the campus. The key to campus hospitality is to remember the three R's. Students need somewhere to relax themselves, to rest themselves, and to relieve themselves. Sure, two of those might be the same thing, but it does sound convincing. Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people comfortable. Okay, so what I want to do first is we're going to build a small bathroom about right here. Uh, we're going to put a door there. Uh, one of the things I like to do is, especially for here, we're going to pause while I build. Um, so you have two choices. You have a regular toilet and you have this gold toilet. Now, one of the things I like to do is, especially here when I have money, I like to use this uh, the more expensive toilet. Because then if it ever comes up that I need money, I can come in here and that's a little bit of a way that I can I can sell these and I can get just a little bit of extra money. Uh, one thing about this is I don't remember where I got this. I don't remember if I got it from, from a pre-order or because I subscribed to... I created an account on Two Point County. I I just I honestly don't remember. Um, so we're going to add some sinks and some um, um, hand dryers. Um, I'm going to leave room because I know I will eventually get a poster that I can put right there. That would be awesome. That will remind students to wash their hands. So that is a bathroom. Let's come over here and we're going to build some dormitories over on this side. Right. Yeah, we're going to build some dormitories on this side. All right, we're going to have one that is just like so. Um, all right. Now we're going to have a little dormitory so you can have uh, different bed styles, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, and there. Uh, we're going to add uh, two two desks. And let's. Where's the other thing that I need to have, that I have to have? And you have three options of what you can build as far as um, like colors 
and I like to have that now. I usually try to place the hand sanitizer in here because the door, so the door takes up this little space right here. Uh, but the hand sanitizer is one of the few objects that can overlap that. Um, can't really do that with a whole lot of stuff. Do I want to add a plant? Nah, they're good. Um, we will go ahead and add... No, I don't have room for that in there. All right. And we're going to... And there's our dorm. Uh, so that unlocks our shower room. Uh, did you hear that? I think our students might be hungry. Traditionally, campuses offer a range of food and drink, you know, to sustain life. Let's build some vending machines. All right, so we start off with two vending machines. We have the burp and the cheesy gubbins. And then I like to give them where they can have some place to sit. Uh, if it were up to the students, I'm sure we'd be living in our own filth. Uh, luckily, we have a little say in the matter. Uh, let's hire a janitor, place a bin, and keep things nice and tidy. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to place some bins in. And you do control, and you can kind of pick exactly where you want things to go. Um, let's put one right there. And we're going to place one right there. Um, I forgot we're going to add a window right there. And yeah, I usually do a window right there, but I will have to move this right here to put in a window right there. All right. And then we need to hire a janitor. So squeaky clean rapid. And so we have between these two, I think I'm gonna do this one, uh, but uh, let's see how the students do in their next class. But I liked this other one, too, because he has that iron bladder, which is a good trait to have. Um, Alright, so now we're going to see how students do in their next class. We're going to speed it up. So students will come in here. They're going to be using uh, And then one thing we can always do is we can come over here and we can just copy the room And just add Add it right there Or better yet what we'll do is we'll have it Right here because we did need to build a shower room so let's go ahead and build a shower room right here and we're just gonna make it where it's right there some towels and we will have over here two of those we're gonna have two and one and there is our 
Do I have room for a... Not there. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Okay. No room for Ben. That's okay. Uh, sure. What is... Okay, I guess it was that window. Um, but that gives them the opportunity to clean. All right. So here, they're going to be in a lecture hall. And... It shows some different things up here. We saw this in um, Mega Aquarium. Not the not. It's not published yet, but it it's it'll come. It's coming up. Uh, and then you have a icon that is related to the class and level. So this is probably the only thing that I, or the, the probably one of the biggest gripes that I have on this game, is that. Classes are limited to eight, but I have 12 seats. Um, so I would think that classes should be extended up to 12 people. But that's my opinion on it. Um, and they are about to finish their class. This is C plus. Uh, well done. Those students look smarter already. The better they do, the more money you have to find their campus. Who's smart now? Yes, you'll receive tuition fees from all students enrolled in courses in the campus, as well as a bonus for how much XP they're earning. You also earn money on their dorms. Uh, satisfying student needs is just one way to improve our grades. Next in the agenda is a spot of studying. Luckily, the students have just been given their first assignment. Completing assignments is a great way for students to earn XP from the classroom, though it looks like they need some new facilities. Check your inbox to see what they need. So, welcome to your inbox, a place to check on student requests, disaster warnings, and upcoming events. Some campus issues are time sensitive, so keep an eye out for those messages. Uh, so, we need a library. Uh, so, let's pause it real quick. Uh, we're going to build it right over here. And we're going to uh, we'll make it about like so. All right. And then we're going to have that as far over. And the first thing that it requires you to do is to set this bookshelf. Okay. And then I want to give them... Uh, two of each of these desks so that they can sit down um, if they need to. Uh, yeah, like so. And that actually... Yeah. And then we have the, like, a, just a, basically a writing desk. And like so. All right. Awesome. And then we're going to, I don't suppose I can do that. No, of course not. We're going to have a message board. A... We'll have a window right there. Trash can right next to the desk. Um, now there will be the opportunity to uh, eventually add more items, spe specifically some bookshelves to this. Let's go ahead and have another window there. And yeah, let's do our little plaque right there. How big is the shoe? There, we're just gonna a bit of decoration there. Uh yeah, so there we go. And now we need to hire a library assistant. Um, we can do this. Excellent personal hygiene. 
Perfect. Love the green hair. All right, so they're going to complete a library assignment. And they're going to all file in. Some of our students are completing an assignment in the library. Completing an assignment is a great way to earn XP outside the classroom. Thought there was going to be a second. Uh, so yeah, so we, it gives a line of like what, how many are queued to pull a book out for them to complete that. Let's see how students do in their next class. So we can already see that grades are going up. They're happier. We are level four. We have 30 kudash. And then this is our money. This shows what, where we are in the year. And then of course we have our time. Uh, one thing we can do is this was featured. Now I do like this better in two point hospital. All right, so we have some money that comes in. Um, oh, so with the dorm, you'll see over here, rent per year. So this is how much you make. So the nicer you make the room, uh, so the nicer you make the room with more dec decorations, is a way to generate some additional uh, income. So like if I go through and do that, now that might not have gone up too much, but if you, if you do a significant amount, they will, uh, they will definitely, It'll definitely uh, help to generate some additional income above and beyond the tuition. Uh, your students have gone from C grade chumps to B grade brain heads. Let's recap how you did it, shall we? All right, so educate, provide better staff and facilities to improve your students' grades. Nurture, make students happy and comfortable to increase their learning rate. Expand, uh, earn more cash by growing your campus and enrolling more students. Congratulations, you earned some kudosh for completing your objectives. Uh, spend kudosh to unlock new items as well as staff outfits and interior design options. All right, so we are... Unlock an item with kudosh. It just doesn't say, it doesn't say what it has to be. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the... This and give them a little bit of something to do. Every year, use everything you've learned to help your students pass the year. Uh, so we need to build a staff room, uh, which we can build over here. Uh, we're gonna pause. So there is our staff room door. We're gonna have a little bit of a uh, little mail bin. And there's that. We're going to offer the employees some food options, um, some entertainment ability, uh, yeah, they get the, and then I want them to be able to have some seating. options and then we'll have a plant a light 
and that's just a flower um we'll do that one instead of this one there um okay um yeah and then yeah, we're going to Put that right there, and then we are going to unlock. Since it's minor, we're going to do a little tea station right there. All right. Finish your first year on campus, and I need to employ another staff member. Karen Strudel. Uh, yeah, we're going to... Today... Uh, yeah, this one's good. All right. I will eventually need to have another one. All right. Um, do I have enough? Do I have enough? That's 250. That, like, depletes my entire... No, that's, that's too much. All right, so they're going to be working on this. We're going to take this at... At a regular speed um, and then we have now I will eventually have a student lounge and when I have a student lounge uh, these two items will be moved into that student lounge in addition to duplicating the dormitory so not a lot happening. Outside of the classroom. Because I'm waiting on... Oh, we need a level three. So we're, we're going to come down here. We need a level three. So let's pause this again. Uh, now we're already at level two, uh, so one of the ways that we can get there is by unlocking things like having a science station. These are probably two of the easiest ones to unlock and include. So there is the three. Now there are some several other options, like here is some posters that they will be able to view um, and there are some okay so I can go over here and I can see these are the items that are specific to this this classroom um, that are education based but I'm gonna hold off on introducing any of those until uh, one of my students requests for them. Uh, so then they just need to complete two assignments. So um, that is a matter of them coming over here, which they will do. In a little bit. All right. Here is a love bench, which is usually the first item that I see that comes out. We're going to, we're going to give it right over here under the tree. In fact, we'll give them two. So this is just a relationship. relationship item that helps to boost relationships okay so monthly profit we didn't profit but we because of the XP bonus we didn't get out all right statue of love sure 
So we can place that right about here. Actually, what we'll do is we're going to pick this up. And we're going to place one right there. And we're going to do, there it is. That's expensive. All right. Okay, never mind. My idea did not work. All right. That's okay. All right, so satisfy two personal goals and develop two best friends. Can we push it? it doesn't matter how desperate you are. Uh, so look out for emails from students that have personal goals and place items. The social items. Let's see, what is this? We have a soggy stretch of wet patch, time, there's rain, uh, weeds can be removed by the janitor. All right, so for that, we're going to look for items that have the friendship. Uh, so here, we have this with different things. So develop friendships, water cooler is always a good idea to have. And I usually add a trash can right next to it. I don't want to put it right by the window. That's all right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? So this, yeah, we could have a car booth right about so. Okay, so we might want to consider hiring some more janitors. Um, okay. No. Uh, but he's gross. Alright. We'll have this one. Alright. Students need to hop to it. We have ways that they can generate friends. Uh, we could. No, we just want best friends. Good friends. Yeah, we can. There we go. So there is some seating. Uh, but they're in class right now. Uh, we're watching Science Cat. And Schrodinger's Cat. Because if I had satisfied that one person's personal goal of the Rose Garden, I wouldn't have, I, I literally would not have room for anything else, including developing a level three science. So I may not be able to do that. Okay, well, we have one best friend. All right, so they're making some friends. Uh, some people need to develop a personal goal and go find some stuff. Let's look at 
So usually where I place this is right there. Like so. Alright, so we have the two best friends. It is just a matter of can they do a personal goal? Here's someone that was, well, he had a personal goal. Yeah. My students just don't want to develop goals. realistic goals yeah. that is a steam achievement to clicking on different bookworms uh, yeah so we're not going to meet this because unless I have two people that can satisfy their personal goals really quickly Um, and they'll usually have that little bullseye target when they're going and grabbing that. Um, getting the... And that is the end of the month. We are not doing too well on profits, but that's okay because um, we've also spent a lot. We have a lot of faculty and that's going to cut into our profits. But next year we'll be able to have additional students. Uh, so there, oh, we have a career goal. So that's one thing that you can do is you can get clear career goals and you get a bronze, silver, and gold. And that is a way that you can earn kudosh as well. All right. Nobody wants to have a personal goal. Somebody requested these and you have not gone even looking for them. There's someone over here that is satisfying a personal goal. And it looks like we have a second individual has a personal goal of apparently taking a nap. So maybe we might be able to uh, finish this first year with having completed all that. And there we go. So that is a way that we can also earn some kudosh. So we're going to speed up. Um, we got kudosh because we because we completed an objective, not because students completed a personal goal. All right. So, uh, this is, so this is the tutorial year. Um, and then we have, congratulations, you finished the academic year. Let's head to the end of the year rewards to celebrate and see how we did. Um, so year one, usually I click over here to overview but just to kind of show. So here it shows our pass rates, our academic excellence. We, this is another way to get kudosh is by gaining these. Uh, so average grade, A87. Especially meadow, so we have average room prestige, four. Average room attractiveness, uh, 
Uh, so we got two awards. We have 10 continuing and an 87% exam rate. Summer break is a perfect time to prepare for the year ahead, build facilities, make unsustainable decision choices, and bask in last year's glory. Uh, let's expand our range of courses by starting a virtual normality class. Um, and we will continue that in uh, our next episode. So thank you for watching and have a great day.